how did we sell over $17 million in real estate in Los Angeles during 2020? 17 million dollars. And the story and how we met our first billionaire client. Let's get to it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Chloe DeVerrier here and today we're going to do something a little bit different than normal. We're going to sit down, have a one-on-one, -on -one, get to know one another and let me tell you the story of essentially my year in real estate during 2020 and how we sold over 17 million dollars in real estate it is a crazy story each of these listings have so much character and personality and little funny things that have come along the way and so we're going to start off this story time with a bang in january of 2020 with our first listing in the valley in la crescenta on fairmont avenue um, and you'll notice that a lot of the listings that i'm talking about here are both in the valley and in West LA. Um, you know, we work literally all over the city, so you'll definitely see there's a lot of driving involved. But this was our first listing of the year. In fact, we listed it actually on my birthday, January 6th, which means naturally it came with good luck. Um, but we listed it for $1.55 million and this home was so so beautiful it was the perfect family home i'll pop up some photos here but you know the family they're actually a family of doctors and they had three kids under the age of five just think about that for a second because I can't even handle one kid under five, imagine three. And you know, the funny thing about this is the entire house, we had staged it strategically to have all white furniture. Um, and there's a reason for that. It really helps create a universally appealing blank slate for our listings. It's also just very aesthetic um, and it's also very modern. It kind of brings in that whole trend of how people want their homes to look nowadays but you know when you have three kids under the age of five you see that sofa or you see that chair or that white rug and in their minds they're like that is the perfect spot for crayons markers sharpies it's literally a whiteboard so we literally had to fence off the kids from the entire front part of the house I mean they were literally prohibited from that region of the house it's super super funny it was kind of like a jail cell in a way they're like all right you can have the half back of the house not the front so <laughs> basically we sold that house super quick I mean I think we probably did two Sunday open houses and we got an offer within the first two weeks and we closed a little over a month later keep in mind escrows are typically 30 days on average and we closed it at 1.615 million dollars so we did get over asking on that which was really amazing for our clients so that leads us to my second sale of 2020 this was on veteran avenue and westwood los angeles this listing was literally actually just a street down from my first apartment ever in los angeles it really kind of shows you how everything just comes full circle in your life it's it's really interesting but this was a super exciting purchase we actually represented the buyer on this deal with my good friend scott in the office we were able to represent our client and help her get it for six hundred and thirty eight thousand and seventy seven dollars i'll pop up some photos if you're asking yourself why the additional seventy seven dollars um that's actually her lucky number and you'll notice that a lot of people do that in real estate when writing offers um you'll see many offers sometimes with just an extra one dollar at the end but i think people psychologically just feel better about you know maybe throwing in an extra dollar or throwing in an extra 77 because it's their favorite number but i guess it worked because she ended up getting the listing out of multiple offers so that was really great for our client and she actually owned another condo in that same building so now she has two so that leads to our second listing of the year now we listed this probably just a few days after we closed fairmont avenue in la crescenta and this time we were in the heart of west la in brentwood los angeles definitely a little of a pricier price point here in la um, but this was a beautiful beautiful mediterranean style home on a corner lot so you had sunshine coming in from both sides so this home was literally just a lit up ball of light it was absolutely beautiful and we listed our listing on bowling greenway for 4.29 million 
dollars and this was definitely a really interesting time i mean this was when covid started to kind of start creeping into the conversations of um you know in california and it was kind of this like okay like is it coming into the us is it still in china um you know some discussion was starting to pick up and it was definitely a really interesting time because obviously nobody knew what was going on um, and I remember so vividly this one moment, uh, we were hosting Sunday open house and it was almost dead silent. Nobody was coming in because this was when the first chatter was getting really um, heavy in LA and a lot of people were starting to get scared of the virus. And I remember we had this family come in um, and we weren't in lockdown yet. Masks were not a thing yet. And they walked in, there was, I think there was four or five of them. It was a family. And I remember we were kind of taking a step back. We were holding our hands like this. And because it was weird, you know, typically you shake someone's hand in an open house, kind of welcome them in. And we were too scared to do that. I think everyone was too scared to be in any close contact to anybody. So we would kind of hold our hands like this and, and we would be like, welcome into this listing you know let us know if you have any questions and awkwardly being like you know we would shake your hand but you know with everything going on so it was a weird it was a weird time um this is this is when covid was really starting to pick up and so this listing we had a little bit of trouble with um you know obviously higher price points especially in west la take a little bit longer to sell not that we were on the market for that long um, but we actually wanted to escrow pretty early within the process with mary fitzgerald if you've seen selling sunset she was representing a buyer on that deal and ultimately before removing his contingencies the buyer decided to back out no reason at all there was nothing wrong with the property um, but you'll see that's a very common thing that happens in the los angeles market um, and it's not a bad thing necessarily it just means we have to go back on market and find a new buyer so that's exactly what we did we ultimately found a buyer within the midst of COVID-19. So by this point, we are in complete quarantine, lockdown, shutdown, masks, nobody's leaving their house. So this was a really big accomplishment for us to close a property during, you know, the heat of this pandemic. We ultimately closed this property at $4.24 million. So that leads us into our next listing of the year. This is when we meet our first billionaire client. I know you guys are all waiting to hear this story. So this is our listing on Lindemere Drive in Bel Air, Los Angeles. Um, this was such a beautiful home. This was a new construction home way up in the hills. You had this view of the entire canyon. I mean, really you're in like this private retreat in a sense it was so quiet so green i felt like you know you could put on those little monkey suits and just hop on off and fly off into the sunset in a way that's kind of how it felt um but we listed this home for 4.45 million dollars our client had purchased this property three years back for two million dollars which it's a pretty good price for considering you're in Bel Air, Los Angeles, but of course it was also a teardown property. So I know for all of you back home, you're like, wow, $2 million for a teardown. Um, but I'll pop up some photos of what it used to look like. And then um, this is what it looked like after he did all of his renovations. He tore everything down, designed it from scratch. This home had every key little detail you, th you could think of. I mean, the doors alone had this beautiful like gold stripe coming down um, the side and that was in every single door of the house so the seller he really really thought through every key detail um and that's how we ended up getting i mean such a high profile client because the home really was taken care of and was done in a beautiful way and it's interesting because you know we're in such a high price point i mean 4.45 million dollars that's a lot of money and it was interesting because we noticed that i would say 80 or 90 percent of the showings that were coming in were all people under 30 years old um, which is something that i personally would never have expected but that's what ended up happening and before we met our buyer our billionaire client um, i remember there was this one day and i was over there for a showing 
and it was this family um, so a wife and a husband their daughter and then they had their designer with them and I opened the door I had no idea who this family was I'm welcoming them in as you always do and I noticed the daughter who looks pretty similar to my age she starts whispering to her mom and I'm like oh oh no like is, is there something wrong you know obviously my mind starts running like you know that's your intuition starts saying okay something something's not right is there something going on and um, so we continue the showing and after at one point I kind of step aside to let people tour the property on their own just so you're not hovering I mean nobody likes a real estate agent that's kind of just like following you around and and watching everything that you do and say so I'm kind of stepping back um, and the mother she comes up to me she goes you know I think my daughter recognizes you funny enough we had a mutual friend in common and our mutual friend he spent like I think 4th of July with them every single year for a while and he was really really good friends with this family and she had recognized me from social media um, which was just it just shows how small of a world we live in and also to always be on your best behavior um, of course you know it's not like I'm doing anything crazy, but it just shows you, you never know who you're gonna meet and you never know who's gonna know who you are. So um, that was such a funny story. And after that, we went into escrow with our billionaire clients. They were Jared and Jeremy, the co-founders of Two Faced Cosmetics. Um, they ultimately were the clients who purchased the home um, all cash for their nephew. So their nephew was actually um, like a son to them. They had watched him since he was a little kid and ultimately they bought this home for him and his wife so they could have it to share with their family. So we ultimately closed on that property in April for four point $30 million dollars all cash offer which we all love all cash it means you close super quick so that was a story of meeting our billionaire client but we're only halfway we still have the rest of 2020 to finish so that leads us to our next listing on Mandeville Canyon in Brentwood as well so Mandeville Canyon oh my goodness this was a journey I mean we did the full nine yards on this property from getting it done start to finish I would say this is probably one of our biggest transformations of the year um, I did a whole YouTube video on it I'll link it in the comment section below but we got this place done from top to bottom I mean we painted the exterior the interior we put in all new grass in the backyard I mean but it really brought out how beautiful the backyard was I mean this place had a stunning 16,000 plus square foot lot and these huge trees like you really felt like you were in a canyon um, it was it's a different kind of uh, retreat feeling than Lindemere, but you really felt like you could just sit on the floor, do a little meditation, light some candles, and you were in full like namaste, really. So beautiful home, um, but we did a lot of work leading up to listing it, and then we also staged it. So I'll kind of show you the before and after, but really it came out amazing. And this home, again, was a little pricier uh, for the West LA, just because you know you are on the opposite side of the 405, but we listed it for $2.3 million, which honestly I think is a really good deal considering you're getting a home that's really strategically laid out there's a lot of space it's an amazing family home and the backyard the backyard you guys is so perfect for covid i mean you have your own outdoor retreat um, so you can really go out and get some fresh air without being concerned about you know the virus but we ultimately got it sold for 2.265 million dollars to this super sweet family um, they were looking to have their first little one to come in and they had three dogs and their dogs were so cute it was literally i call them small medium and large because one of them was ginormous and the other one was this cute little one that you could just wrap up in your arms i'll pop in a video they're so cute and they were so excited i mean if i was a dog this would be a great place to live because you have an entire canyon 
quick pause to this video i cannot believe as i'm editing this that i totally forgot the story of how i climbed through a doggy door at this listing and basically we had a day full of scheduled showings i believe we had five that day so it was basically like an open house and the outdoor guest room had gone locked mysteriously and the key was missing so i had to climb through the doggy door and i got this all on camera and it was so so funny so that leads us to our next listing of 2020 and oh my goodness this one was i think the one that went the fastest i mean record speed it felt like a tsunami in a sense so this was on wilkins avenue and westwood um again super close to my first apartment because i did go to ucla and i used to live in westwood but this property got I essentially like stolen in a sense it was so quick um so we did everything that we did for mandeville we painted the interior we staged it um it really makes a huge difference when you make those changes especially the staging um, and I remember we put it on the market officially live on a Friday evening. So I think Friday at 6 p.m. Within Saturday morning, we had five to six showing requests. We ended up going into escrow the next day on Sunday, um, $15,000 over. So we listed it for $725,000 and we ultimately sold it for $740,000. And I think the reason why this property sold so quickly was the fact that um, it was well priced and there was actually another unit on the same floor for sale just down the hall and they were asking um, $899,000 um, so a huge price point difference. You're also right by UCLA, Westwood um, Village by Century City Mall, and you're living in a tree-lined residential neighborhood with only eight units total within the building. And it makes sense, you know, during COVID, not a lot of people want to live in a building with, you know, 100 or 200 tenants. But when you have a small building with only eight families or couples or individuals, that's really um, a huge selling point during this time. So that one went super quick. We ended up representing both the buyer and the seller on this deal. And that was such a great experience. It really felt like we were just like, whoo, it wasn't a marathon. That one felt like a full 400 meter sprint, even a 200 meter sprint, but that was a really fun experience to get it sold so, so quickly. So the next story of our 2020 journey really shows you how the record low interest rates that happened this year really opened up the buyer's pool for a lot of first-time home buyers because when you have you know an interest rate that's under three percent it's essentially pocket change for these buyers and so many people got into the market which is what made the market so competitive because so many people were now capable of buying and we had such low inventory um, but luckily for our buyer on this next deal he had been looking since 2018. I, of course he was you know a little pickier which is really common for a first-time home buyer you know this is the first time you're purchasing something that's so large and so he had been looking since 2018 and um, my colleague and I found him this beautiful condo um, on La Tejera in Los Angeles and it was this beautiful charming like little two bedroom um, condo uh, but this our client Albert he was this really tall guy he's got to be 6'3 or something like that and the ceilings in this property were a good 20 25 feet so that was really great when you're such a tall guy and you look up and you're living in you know a smaller condo with smaller square footage you still feel like you got a lot of space going so we ended up getting him this deal for five hundred and twenty thousand dollars which is honestly really remarkable for the la market i mean to buy something for that low um my, it is a condo but it was still such a great home um and he is now doing all of these plans to kind of renovate it a little bit put in some hardwood floors and lighting uh so i'm super excited to see when he finishes that but that kind of just shows you how so many people had the chance to buy this year um even if they had been looking for multiple years for a while
So we closed that property November 13th. We had gone into escrow mid-October, mind you, again, escrow periods are typically on average 30 days. So that leaves us with the last month and a half of 2020. I am filming this um, mid-December, so keep that in mind. Um, so some deals might be happening still before um, I get to post this, but I will just update you on next time I do a little story time video. So as we approach the end of 2020, we have two active listings. One of them is actually in escrow currently, so I'll tell you about that one. Now legally, I'm not allowed to tell you how much it is in contract for, but I will tell you we did list it for $830,000. And this was a five bedroom home in Upland, California. So this was definitely a little farther out than what we were used to. This is probably a good hour drive from West LA East. Um, but again, that allows you to get a humongous house, um, five bedrooms over 3000 square feet for only $830,000. And this home is such a charming family friendly home. It's one of those homes, it's kind of list, uh, you know located in a residential neighborhood and they have cul-de-sacs everywhere. And it definitely feels like one of those neighborhoods where you, you see all the kids bucking and up down the street, all of the families and our neighbors are friends and that was definitely the energy that I got there and I remember I had driven out there one Sunday morning we had a couple showings scheduled that day and I had about 30 minutes in between each showing so I kind of like I had Starbucks in my hand I was kind of sitting outside on the front porch I really felt like a mom in a sense you know I was sitting there and I was just really enjoying the neighborhood it was such a quiet peaceful neighborhood and it really uh, I can't explain it to you but you really just felt a sense of peaceful tranquility in your heart just being there and it was such an amazing family friendly home and so i know the couple that's buying it are really going to enjoy it um but again we did painting interior exterior and we did brand new hardwood floors because uh, originally they had carpet so if you guys were ever thinking of doing carpet or hardwood floors 100 percent always choose hardwood floors okay just trust me on it <laughs> so we had done all that work, we staged it. I loved the furniture that we chose for this home. Um, it was funny because so many people that were coming in for showings were asking if they could buy the furniture. That just shows you um, how much they liked the house and how much they liked the furniture. But we went into escrow, I think, within a few weeks of going live on the market. So we were scheduled to close that one at the end of December. Right now the closing date is December 28th. Which leaves us with my ultimate favorite listing property home that i've ever ever seen in los angeles ever so this is our listing on hill green in beverly hills and i hands down my favorite home i've ever seen i would legitimately buy it for myself if i could but you know not right now we'll have to wait in the future but this is a beautiful um, Spanish Montecito style condo in Beverly Hills located on this huge cul-de-sac with these tree-lined um, hedges going along the entire cul-de-sac. So you have so much privacy, so much greenery, and this home is so charming and it's so open. You have these large overarching curves within the home. You have multiple entertainment spaces. I mean, entertainers home dream because you walk in you have a formal seating area and then you have a family kind of more casual living area then you have a large dining room and then next to that is another formal living area so a lot of um, entertaining space and it's all open i mean you can see everything from front of the house to the back of the house in a sense which is you know very common in montecito style homes but um, it really just feels so homey and cozy and oh, the staging that we chose for this property is so stunning and beautiful. We were asking $2.4 million for this listing and I know it's going to go pretty soon. I'm sure after I post this video, we will be in a offer situation and deciding who's going to be able to get this beautiful, beautiful home. And I'm very excited to see who gets to buy this home. Um, I'm going to be extremely jealous, but I know they're going to love it. <laughs> 
So that concludes our story time video on how we sold specifically $17.55 million this year in 2020 from January to December um, and how we sold our first home to a billionaire client. That was such an experience and I'm so excited for year 2021. I know there is so much in store and despite everything going on still with the pandemic, I don't want to make it seem like that um, we're living this amazing, beautiful life because realistically, I think every single individual in this world has struggled during this time and I'm 100% in that boat with you. There's a lot of things that all of us are going through, so I want to make sure that all of you know that um, you know social media and videos do a really good job at glamorizing um, things because you're looking at all of the beautiful good moments that happened in 2020 so remember to kind of reflect upon the small blessings that you've had this year and I really hope that you guys have an amazing end to 2020 look forward to 2021 and having a fresh start I think that we all need it and also I'm gonna start vlogging every two weeks starting in in January. I noticed that a lot of you guys are really interested in my day in the life as a real estate agent vlogs, bringing you along with me so you can kind of see all the things that I just told you, you know, happen in person with me or I guess have been on video with me. And so I'm really excited to start doing that. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. I would really, really appreciate it. And again, happy 2020, and I look forward to 2021.